NVIDIA's resizable bar is an extension to the PCI Express expansion bus and offers the potential to improve overall performance for your system. Compatible with NVIDIA Graphic Card Series 3000 and above, it operates much the same principle as AMD's Smart Access Memory. When it comes to drawing images, your CPU has a lot of processing to do, especially in terms of textures, shaders and the like, and it gains access to much of this information through the GPU's frame buffer. Normally access is limited to around 256 megabyte blocks, and what the resize bar does is open that up so it can load in faster. Welcome to the Sim Hanger. my name's Mark, thanks for watching, and let's get started. With the resizable bar enabled, you can get an improvement in FPS. It's not going to be a game changer, but every little helps as they say. Not everybody will have access to the resizable bar. It'll be subject to your CPU, your motherboard and your graphics card. As shown, I'll leave a link to this site in the notes below the video. It is very likely that your motherboard will need the latest BIOS, and you may need to update that. In addition, for those of you with a Series 3000 NVIDIA graphics card, you may need to run a BIOS update to enable the resizable bar on your card. But we'll cover that in the video. It's beyond the scope of this video to cover motherboard updates. You'll need to refer to the motherboard manufacturer's website for details. Before attempting to enable the resizable bar, there's a couple of basic checks that we need to do to ensure system compatibility. If you're using a legacy BIOS or the older Master Boot Record boot system, resizable bar will not work for you. Let's quickly do those checks and our first port of call is the NVIDIA control panel. If you don't have it, you should have download from the NVIDIA website. From the menus on the top, we're going to select help and then system information. Click on that and another window will open and one of the items listed in the window will be resizable bar. As we can see here, it's not installed. If yours happened to say yes, well, you can stop watching this video right now. You're done. We can now close the control panel. Let's now check for system compatibility. From the search bar, type in disk management and select the app create and format hard disk partitions. When it opens, you'll be looking at something like this. And here we're looking for our boot drive, which is normally C. Just a word of caution here, be very careful what you click on. I have a number of hard drives and solid state drives in my system. We can see here disk 4 is my C drive, my boot drive. On the left, putting my cursor over disk 4, I right click and select properties. The properties window opens up. In this instance, it's an NVMe drive, 2 terabyte. And then we want to select the volumes tab. And here we're interested in only one piece of information. It's the partition table. If the partition style is GPT, you're good to go. If it says MBR, then the resizable bar is not available for your system. For our last quick check, back to the search bar and type in MS info. System information will show up and select that. And you'll be looking at a summary of your system information. Here we want to check one thing, the BIOS mode. This is the operating system for your motherboard and it should say UEFI. If it is, you're good to go. If not, you can't use the resizable bar. If needed, you've updated the motherboard BIOS, we'll take that as done. But we also have to enable resizable bar on our graphics card. Further down on the page we were on earlier, and a reminder, link in the notes below, NVIDIA provide a link to all the main graphic card manufacturers, including ASUS, EVGA, Gigabyte and so on. And clicking on the appropriate link and following the path where necessary will take you to where you can update your Series 3000 graphics card. In my case, I have the EVGA 3090 XC3 Ultra Gaming card. I've always used EVGA cards, so sad to see them leave the fold. So in my case, I'll obviously click on the EVGA link. It connects me to their site and it advises me that I'm to use the Precision X1 utility, which is a free download. There's some basic instructions on what to do. A quick glance of those, then shut down and start up my X1 Precision application. Note you would only use this with an EVGA graphics card, Series 3000 or above. Other cards would have a different format. I've clicked on the Rebar tab 
and it shows me the VBIOS needs updating and a caution sign against the motherboard as I'm still to update that BIOS, which we'll do shortly. Click on update. Yes, I want to update the VBIOS and it starts. Once it had completed, it asked me to restart the computer, which I did, fully booted up and then shut down again so I could adjust the motherboard's BIOS. If you're not comfortable making changes, ask somebody more knowledgeable for assistance. Whilst most procedures will be fairly similar, note this is specifically for an ASUS motherboard. It's a Maximus 13 Hero. I've now entered the BIOS, and step one is to head to the Advanced tab. Here I'm looking for PCI Subsystem Settings. I select that using the mouse, and here there's two settings I'm interested in. Above 4G decoding, which should be enabled, which it is, and resize bar support, which I also want to make enabled. As we can see, it's currently disabled, so I'll now change that. Click the arrow, select enabled from the drop down box, and resize bar support is now enabled. We're done in this section. Hit escape to return to the main advanced menu, and now from the top menu, I'm going to select boot. And here I'm looking for CSM or Compatibility Support Module. Select that with a right click of the mouse and a submenu selection appears. And here we can see the Launch CSM is enabled. We need to disable it. And we can only do this with confidence because we carried out our checks. Our format is GTP and our BIOS is UEFI. Here's a warning. If you haven't carried out those checks, do so. If you disable Launch CSM and your format is wrong, your PC will not boot. If that's the case, to correct it, simply enter the BIOS again and change it back to Enabled. But it highlights the importance of following this step by step. It's not a complicated process, but it's procedural. That's it. That's all the changes that we need to make. Hit F10. Save changes and reset. I'm going to select OK. And when rebooting, we should have the resizable bar now enabled. And my PC has rebooted successfully. Happy days. After system restart, back to the Precision X1 application and I'll select rebar. And the changes should now be effective. And success, it says there, resizable bar enabled. All good. We can do one other quick check with the NVIDIA control panel. As we did before, open up the application, go to Help and choose System Settings. A new window will open, and again we look for the Resize bar, and it says yes, it's enabled. Success! We're done! As I mentioned earlier, this will not give you a massive performance boost. You're looking at a couple of FPS, but when flying in VR, or flying the more complex aircraft, well, a couple of FPS can make all the difference, and it's worth a try if you're confident enough to make the changes. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found it useful and informative. Stay well, see you soon, and bye for now.